We are now piloting a home-centric model for the management of COVID-19 patients with mild or no symptoms. These individuals require minimal uh, supportive care and are suitable to be cared for in settings beyond the hospital or our CCFs. And this will allow the hospital's resources to be redirected to caring for those who are more frail and vulnerable to severe infection, as well as a worse outcome. The WHO has also endorsed this approach and its guidelines on the management of COVID-19 infection. Only fully vaccinated individuals who are either asymptomatic or have mild symptoms are eligible for this pilot. They must first be assessed to be unlikely to deteriorate or require hospital-based care during their illness. And this is to ensure that it is safe for the individual then to recover at home outside the setting of both the hospital or the CCF. The infected cases must not belong to any vulnerable group which has an increased risk of a more severe infection. And this then excludes those who are 60 years or older, immunocompromised, have concurrent severe chronic medical conditions, or who are pregnant. We will be assessing each individual case to determine whether the home environment is suitable for home isolation to take place. The infected person must self-isolate in a room which has an ensuite bathroom or must stay alone at home. And this is so that others are not exposed to infection by sharing common facilities at home. And there's then no risk of infection spreading to neighbours. If the infected person self-isolates at home, but with other family members in the same home, these other family members must be fully vaccinated and well. And they should not themselves be vulnerable to getting a severe illness in the event that they do get infected. They will be subjected to home quarantine and regular, uh, if not daily, uh, ERT testing for uh, early detection of infection uh, in, uh, in them. There will strictly not be any physical mixing allowed between the infected person on home isolation and others, whether living in the same household or visiting. The infected person will not be allowed to leave his or her home except for the purpose of a medical review with the approval of MOH. And to ensure with the movement restrictions beyond the home, the infected individuals will need to wear tracking devices uh, similar to that used for persons on quarantine. Surveillance checks may also be performed through phone calls or visits. The cases will be selected for home isolation after an initial period of monitoring and evaluation in the hospital or the CCF. He would then be required to stay in isolation until he completes at least 14 days from the start of his illness and he must complete an exit PCR test to demonstrate that he is no longer infectious before he is allowed to leave home isolation. We will start the pilot on the 31st of August, the end of August, and we will continue to monitor the pilot's outcomes in order to inform if more patients may benefit from this mode of recovery in a safe manner at home.